Hello everyone, I'm Amit, a computer science educator and trainer from India and in this uh, session we are going to learn that how we can uh, receive information from multiple Google Forms into a single Google Sheet. This technique is very important for educators in the flipped classroom uh, approach as well as it, uh, it's very important for the teacher trainers uh, and administrator to get feedbacks from the participants or um, any uh, tra uh, kind of trainees uh, into a single sheet. It will help uh, us to organize the information in the single sheet automatically. Let me go to my Google Drive. I have uh, two feedback forms uh, already. They're like simple Google Forms. I have uh, conducted a session on the breaklet uh, during a faculty development program in which I'm taking the feedback of the participants. And another one uh, is on Flipgrid. Um, I've taken another faculty development program. I just want the feedback from my participants. Now, uh, third one, I have a Google Sheet ready. It's an empty sheet. It is only renamed as FTP Feedback Sheet. So, uh, actually, whatever information will come to me um, from my participants will come into this sheet and this will come in this sheet, uh, I'll have multiple sheets here. So uh, it's like that the information come in different sheets. So let's do it. How we can do it, it's a simple trick. Like uh, when we design a Google form, we have a response section. Instead of uh, mm, getting the response, uh, through automatically um, integrated sheet, we have to select the destination response sheet. So for that, we'll go to select existing spreadsheet, which, which will be our own one. Uh, if, if I take the above option, it will automatically create a separate sheet for, to, to record my responses to a particular form. So I'll just select my sheet. So it is feedback, FDP feedback sheet. I have just uh, Okay, this sheet has been linked to my form. The message has already been shown. S similarly, I'll do with another form. Again, I'll go to select response destination. One is automatic, but I will take my existing spreadsheet. And here is my FTP feedback sheet. So here linking this spreadsheet, yes, it's linked. So I have linked my both of the forms through which I want to record responses to this single FTP feedback sheet. So see here, one is form response one, second is form response two. These two sheets have been created. So now mm, I'll uh, share this link with my participants so that I may get feedback for my first form. Okay, from the user end, I will. Uh, open this form and it's a form for backlit. I'm putting up my email ID like this and uh, name like Amit Kumar I think for number feedback mm, well done something like that anything and uh, I want to attend another training yes I want to attend Submit it now. I will share the code of Flipgrid feedback form with my participants and I'll open it in another browser window or so that I may submit the response from the user end as, a, as an another user like this. Another form. Try anything like a Kumar number maybe nine seven three six two. Oh, wait, anything? Feedback very nicely done. Something like that. So now, yes, I want to attend another one. Okay, I've submitted the two. Responses 
from or uh, from two different forms. Now I want to check whether they have appeared in my sheet. I'll just refresh it. Okay, I'm refreshing my sheet, and uh, here I'm going to get responses from two separate feedback forms. First one is this form response one. Yes, it's there for my one email ID and form response two. It's there for my second email ID. So it's done. So this is very important to organize uh, many feedbacks or many uh, responses from different different forms in a single sheet. It will help uh, an administrator, a teacher trainer, or an educator to organize uh, organize the data put into his or her students or participants. So um, I hope you like this one. See you in the next one with more tips and tricks.